Hi, Chris Scott here with Keller Williams. Today I'm out front of the uh, DND headquarters here in the West End. By 2020, there's going to be over 8,500 people working out of this building. Of course, with such a big shift, it's going to have an influence on where Ottawa home buyers are looking. Now, everybody's talking about the West End of Ottawa being a really hot real estate market, which it is, and the East End of Ottawa, um, Orleans as an example, is being left behind. So what I wanted to do is really examine both real estate markets and compare the two head to head. For the purpose of comparison, I used a subject property of a detached two-story home with a double car garage. There were 475 sales of these in Canada Stittsville and 441 in Orleans. So it's a great comparison. There's lots of numbers to work with. As far as an average purchase price in each neighborhood, in Orleans, the average price for that home is $475,000. In Canada and Stittsville, the average price for that home is $536,000. So of course, it's more expensive to buy in the West, but both markets have seen an increase over last year. When I look at Orleans, the increase is 4.3%, and for Canada, the increase is 6.3%. So very, very strong numbers. Another strong number is the days on market. So the days on market for uh, Canada Stittsville is 47 days, uh, which is a huge improvement over last year, where it was uh, 69 days. And in Orleans, the average time on market is 62 days as compared with 74 days last year. The one statistic that really struck me was the amount of inventory available in each of these neighborhoods. If you look at Orleans, there's actually two months of inventory right now available, which is very, very low, and which means it's in a very strong seller's market. You see between about two and four months of inventory is in, in the seller range, between four and six is a, probably a balance range, and over six months would be a, a buyer, uh, where it's geared towards the buyers. It would be a buyer's market at that, at that time frame. So it's really interesting to see it's only at two, so it's really in a strong seller's market. And then when I compare that to Canada and Stittsville, the Canada and Stittsville market is at one, which is you know, as hot as it's basically ever been. Uh, there's just no supply available out there for buyers in this segment of the market. And I bet you if I ran the same numbers for Barhaven, it would be you know, one month, maybe two months of inventory. I mean, really, it's a hot market right across the city. I mean, that's essentially my conclusion, is whether you're in Orleans or in the west end of Ottawa or anywhere in between, the Ottawa real estate market has never been this active. I'm seeing, in some cases, 10, 12, 14 offers on certain properties. And I see that trend continuing over the next couple of years, and I think affordability is actually going to be uh, more challenging, say, a year or two years down the road. Any transaction in 2017, 2018 is going to look like a bargain in 10 years from now in auto real estate. If you have any questions on what's happening in your neighborhood, please feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to get some information for you. Thanks for tuning in.